Bitcoin may be headed below 3000 here in the near future. But what I'd like to look at today is, is there a high probability that Bitcoin is looking to break below 3000 in the immediate term? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and what I'm seeing in the chart right now. Of course, it is no surprise, unless you live under a rock, that we have seen a dump off here in the Bitcoin chart over the past 24 hours. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally broken out of our one percentile equilibrium. Is what I'm seeing in the chart signifying support and a potential retest higher or a plunge deep down into the crypto abyss? And as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell. And let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Clap it up. We finally did in fact break that equilibrium the tiny less than one percentile equilibrium that we had been traveling in for days on end. We also now have broken below this green box of support that I was looking at so intently over the past several days. We are flush below it right now. We have already retested it multiple times and have seen rejection. For me right now, this is bearish confirmation number one. But let's take a look at the bigger picture here as well. If you guys know, this upward sloping trend line here has been holding the price support for Bitcoin over the past several weeks. If you are subscribed here, I've been intently following this tentative ascending triangle pattern formation. And that triangle here that I'm outlining is capped off by the top green box of resistance there with this upward sloping trend line. I had even pondered the possibility of are we seeing a breakout of this pattern being all of this action up here with finally us smashing through this upward box of resistance and is this setting up for a higher rip to the upside? As you guys know, I did not actually go with that pattern uh, break out there as I figured that with the lack of higher highs being created over and over again, over and over again on this trend, the likelihood and probability of this trend continuing higher was less than, than stellar for me in my opinion. Uh, and right now, the last piece of hope I see for the bullish sentiment right now is this upward sloping trend line. And as we see, ladies and gentlemen, here on the four hour time frame, we have flirted with this support line once, twice, and thrice thus far. Also, we have tentatively, uh, excuse me, we have evidently tested this new resistance area being the bottom of the green box nearly three times. Uh, we are coiled up once again. We are traveling in a very tight little pattern of its own here. You guys can see this, right? It's creating another triangle of its own here, which again could be now a bear flag with a flag pulled down, consolidation sideways, and a tentative rip to the downside. Uh, as we all know, the RSI has really gotten low. It's not over sold just yet, uh, but it is low compared to where it was at the top of the trend. So there is some bullish hope there. Uh, but for me right now, ladies and gentlemen, full disclosure, uh, I am short here. I am seeing potential that this trend may look to test down. Let's, let's do some target areas here. Uh, you know, down at, at a minimum for me, if we continue to break bearish, uh, would be probably to the bottom consolidation area down here. 
in the low 3800s, uh, with an even bigger potential inverse moonshot uh, of somewhere deep down into this prior consolidation area. I'll actually draw a rectangle around it so we can see it more clearly here. Uh, it would be somewhere in this vicinity. It's going to be tough to pinpoint an actual target where this would, would likely consolidate for a bit just because of the sheer choppiness that we've had in these ranges. Uh, there's been a lot, a lot of chop uh, a, a greatly shown over here where we had just chopped up and down so viciously. Uh, but this is the target area for me, ladies and gentlemen, as it stands right now. Personally, uh, I believe that if we travel downwards, uh, we are probably not going to get the flush capitulation candle. Let's actually go over to the BLX. This is the Bitcoin index, uh, you know, many exchanges data compiled into one. We'll go on to the weekly. Uh, I still am looking for another leg down, ladies and gentlemen. It seems more probable than not, in my opinion, that we will wind up seeing a break below this macro low here at 3100 it just seems to me in my opinion that that is very probable uh it doesn't have to happen now nor do i think it's going to happen right now for me what i believe is more probable is that we are likely going to break out of this rising wedge bearish pattern which we are for the first time showing red candles here on the weekly time frame at a key resistance level creating another lower high coming off a reaction rally on a descending volume profile to me ladies and gentlemen the equation all adds up for a bearish move does that mean it has to happen absolutely not but with my knowledge my skill set as a technical analyst, I'm seeing right now that the the downward pressure seems to be there. Uh, to me, this looks like the bears are still in full control right now. And this may, in fact, turn out to be nothing more than an unsustainable reaction rally, just as we've had over the past 15 months, time and time again, as we've always then put on the scuba suit, the scuba gear, and took a deep, deep dive down into the crypto abyss. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes. Moon them up. Smash those thumbs. Click the subscribe button. Tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. So let's see now, right? If we are to break down out of this tentative bearish rising wedge. For me, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to use a Fibonacci retracement as a a key target area on the macro trend here. So we're gonna go swing high, whoops. We're going to go swing high. Whoa, excuse me, my chart is lagging right now. Swing low to swing high. And this gives us a very unique target because if we drag this over here, right, we'll extend this out just a bit longer. Uh, we can see that the 0.618 Fibonacci which is one of the golden retracements, right, ladies and gentlemen, perfectly lines up with tentatively where this trend is looking to go following the upward trending support line, which we have created since that initial bottom off the 6K capitulation, right? We've bottomed there twice now, and are we going to bottom a third time and look one last time from a bullish perspective to try and crush this triangle to the upside and come out of the bear market, even if it's just temporarily. Uh, still, there is no true, real, absolute confirmation from a technical analysis perspective that the bear market is over, in my opinion, until the 6K level is crushed. For me, guys, this is going to be the most substantial difficult resistance in Bitcoin history. Uh, and for the bear market to absolutely be over, I am going to need to see this level, you know, get tested, rejected, tested, rejected, and then ripped through, consolidated upon. And then for me, uh, you know, the strategy will turn back to buying the dips, longer swing trades in long positions, uh, getting more and more comfortable with it being a bull market once again, rather than a bear market, which is just quite the opposite, right? In a bull market, it's all about buying dips. Uh, you know what I mean? It's it's just the opposite. Uh, in bearish uh, chart, chart formations, 
buying the dips is an incredibly bad idea. <laughs> I mean, you can do whatever you want, uh, but in theory, that is just a poor decision as generally selling rallies or shorting rallies is generally the play in a bear market, whereas in a in a bull market, longing the dips and buying the dips is a, a stronger strategy. Uh, for me right now, as you guys see, we are right on this trend line right now, but if it breaks, I'm expecting a very fast and vicious move. Uh, I am keeping my VIPs up to date in real time with my trades, ladies and gentlemen. Every single entry, exit, target, strategy, insight, etc. that I have, I post for you in absolute real time. Do not be taking that trip to Wrecked City. Do not be getting caught off guard, getting caught like a deer in the headlights and taking that trip down Liquidation Boulevard. It's time to step up into the big leagues, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I will see you in VIP right now, my friends. Shout out to my VIPs. I will keep you updated to the exact second with my trades. Let's get this crypto. I'm prepared to crush this market. Uh, for me right now, guys, this vicinity is the area I'm watching. The Fibonacci retracement lining up with about the 3600 level give or take it depends on your exchange it depends on which chart etc etc but i am looking for a potential correction pullback however you'd like to to categorize it uh and a break of this bearish rising wedge and a retest of this trend line somewhere in the 3600 vicinity that is my target area right now can that change? Absolutely. Because if we do test down that far and it does not hold, right? Say we crash down, we break below. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this this could get a waterfall-esque because then if we, we break below our prior low, hoo -hoo -hoo, grandma's cookies and a bodily yo-ho-ho, -ho, this trend may in fact get inverse parabolic once again, inverse parabola once again, and Don Don Carbonaccio is going to be playing this market like a fine-tuned trombone, a fiddle, and a game of pseudo on an overseas flight let's get this crypto somebody lit a fire up underneath me today ladies and gentlemen i'm ready to get it and i'm ready to get this crypto i see that we've finally finally broken our little equilibrium that we were stuck inside for a week we finally got a nice candle nice volume and we're testing up on critical, critical lines in the chart right now. If this line is purged, I believe that many will likely miss the move that comes. If this line is in fact holding and we test to the upside, it is going to be this critical, critical resistance area at the top of my, excuse me, the bottom of my red resistance box here, which lines up at just under 4,100. Uh, are we gonna double top? And if we double top, we are reaching the end of my rising wedge pattern formation tentatively for right now. Uh, we are coming up on the next lower high area once again. And if we do in fact plunge, ladies and gentlemen, we could still be looking to test our way up through this tentative ascending triangle pattern formation, which is going to be one of two things in my opinion. One, it is going to wind up being a bearish continuation flag in the midst of a 15 month bear market. And the moon boys, degenerates and clowns will take that deep, deep dive down into the crypto abyss with moon boy Montgomery and the hodl train homies. Or we're going to in fact see this ascending triangle pattern formation create a higher high break through the resistance box with a top at 4,200, smash through the prior highs and smash through the orange resistance at 4,500 for a potential moonshot reversal up into the 5K region. Now, would that in fact be the end of the bear market? Oh, Kirby, it's over. We're going to the moon. Put your astronaut Kirby on, put it on. Put my astronaut helmet on, James. Put my astronaut helmet on, Joe.
Do not lose sight of what we're seeing here. We still are in the midst of a 15-month bear market. We are still under, tentatively, the largest resistance cluster in Bitcoin history. And this could, in fact, turn out to be one of the greatest bull traps in Bitcoin history. Let's get this crypto. Exciting times ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely exciting times ahead. I see potentially life-changing opportunity looming in both directions. You see it. You see the percentages that I'm seeing here. And either way, ladies and gentlemen, you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio is going to continue to play this market like a fiddle. And I will be keeping you updated in VIP with every single trade I make in absolute real time to the second exclusive for you right now in VIP. Shout out to my VIPs, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be taking that trip to Wrecked City with Average Joe and James at the water cooler. Do not be taking that long walk down Liquidation Boulevard with Poopcoin Patrick and the Hoddle Train homies. Corey, the crypto crackhead, scratching his neck, itching his collar, living that life of peril and squalor. Do not be hanging out with him because what I'm telling you right now is that opportunity is tentatively looming right around the corner. And are you going to be the one that crushes this market? Or are you going to be the one that gets crushed? The ball is in your court, ladies and gentlemen. The choice is yours. It's time to step up to the plate. It's time to step up into the big leagues. And it's time to get this crypto. Don Don Carbonaccio cooking up plays like there's two minutes left in the fourth quarter of the championship game. Let's get this crypto. I will see you in VIP, ladies and gentlemen, keeping you up to date with my trades, my setups, my strategies, my take profits, etc., etc., up to the exact second in real time for you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. I will see you all in VIP. If you could one last time, ladies and gentlemen, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. I see the move coming, ladies and gentlemen. Are you going to be the one doing the crushing, or are you going to be the one getting crushed? The choice is yours. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, be safe. Be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.